Hello, YouTube fam, people, whatever, the world, what is up? Okay, guys, so I know it's been a while. It's really my fault. I've been busy with work, football, you name it. It's It's been hectic. Um, I'm not sure if my other video posted or not. I haven't been on YouTube really posting. I've been keeping up with people, but not, you know, keeping up with myself. So it's my own fault. I'm here to give y'all a little bit of advice. Don't fuck up anything guys because it gets bad <laughs> what am i damn sheep all right but it's a point of hand um not in school anymore um yes y'all see me i'm in the house that is in fort worth i'm at my house right now i'm actually here for a game though i may not be playing college ball i am playing semi-professional ball now and with semi-professional ball comes i have to travel still so Came home. First game is going to... This is our first preseason game. We're going to be playing at Cowboy Stadium. So, that's hype for me. Playing at a professional stadium. So, I'm very hyped on that. But, um, let's get to the point, guys. Okay, I'm posting a lot more now. Uh, my plan is get some focus on YouTube. Get some focus on social media. Work my ass off. Get plenty of playing time. I'm going to be in a switch starting spot with the, with, um, the defensive line that I'm with now. And um, we are one of the best defenses in texas and west texas that's what we got told and i've looked over our playbooks and i've seen it i've seen how we develop and how fast we go and it does it's the truth and when i got there i hoped i would have made it faster and i did i put the pace and i put the quarterback to pace that he hadn't been in in a long time so yeah the reason why i'm making this video now is because not to prove anything to y'all but i'm just giving y'all a heads up Yes, I'm not in college. Yes, I'm taking a different route to try to become a professional player. And that's that's life. Sometimes life, you get a bump. Sometimes you hit something different. And I hit that bump. I'm not going to lie. It was a horrible bump. I didn't like the bump. I was breaking down every second almost because of that bump. But now I'm back on track. I'm ready to go play tomorrow. Um, Y'all see me in the fit for tomorrow. Um, a piece of the fit for tomorrow. I didn't want to make this video shirtless, guys, so that's my own fault. But um, point at hand, don't give up, guys. Never give up. You can hit a snag in the road, whatever. Just don't give up because I can guarantee you one thing. If you skip up, that's where that dream stops. That's where it dies. Don't give up. Always be the next. Take the next step. Be proud of the next step because the next step can lead you to become better, become stronger, become faster. It's all a matter of what you do. But... To the real point at hand of this video, guys, I do have a review for y'all. I know, I know it's been so long, and I said I was going to review these, but here's the thing. I've been through six sets, and I'm ready to review them because I love that cleat. I love these cleats that much. These are the UA Spotlights. These are from the All-America game 2019. I bought a pair of them. I bought a pair of the gloves. They're not with me. Not a pair, not with me, but I do have a pair of the newer spotlights from 2019 as well. I have a pair of the highlights as well. The highlights I'm going to be playing with in the game. I'm also going to be playing with a pair of the nitros, guys. Because I'm setting nitros because those were the easiest to get my hands on to try to customize to meet my team's colors. Guys, I'm not going to stress how hard it was to find neon green cleats. It was hard. Especially in UA, because as y'all know, UA all day, UA every day. This company I've backed since day one of high school football. In middle school, that's when my first gear was really. My first compression gear, Under Armour. First compression socks, Under Armour. First compression underwear, Under Armour. Under Armour has had my back since the beginning. Shout out to Under Armour for making some of the most quality gear. Some of the gear that y'all keep me sauced, laced up constantly. These will be possibly my back. These are my backup plates for the game because if the paint chips on the black ones, I'm going straight to these. And these, I do have a special insole inside of both of the cleats. I've had these insoles since college. These are Storelli Speed Grip insoles, guys. I do like the 3D foam insole or 4D foam insoles that they have inside of the cleats for both the, the spotlights and for the nitros. But guys, I'm going to be honest with you. These right here, these stick to your feet, guys. This is true technology. I have, um, Sterling hit me up with that sponsorship too. I mean, y'all make some of the best gear I've ever had on a football field, man. 
I'm not talking soccer football. I'm talking football americano, guys. I am an American football player, and I'm proud to say that. Yes, I am Mexican. But, guys, this is the sport. I'm from Texas. This is the sport I'm into, all right? But here's a review on these guys. If I have six pairs, that means I got love them for them. And that's just just because I'm looking for a sponsorship. No, guys, these cleats mean the world to me. These cleats were one of the stepping gates. This is what I wore. These were the stepping stone into college, guys. And now that I am in the semi-pro league, these will be my stepping stone into the professional league. And I look forward to it. My path to the draft is going to be longer. And it's going to be harder than most people's paths were. And I have no problem with that. Because life's never been easy for me. I've struggled with a lot of things. Going to school was one of them. Because... <laughs> I'm not that smart. I'm smart in some ways and some not so much. But believe me, I never want to do something so much other than play football. If it wasn't for football, I don't know what I would do, honestly. But we're to the point of football's football for me. And I know y'all see me in glasses. Y'all see me in contacts usually, but it's nighttime, guys. I'm trying to get this filmed in for tomorrow. I plan to do a bit of a live stream on my Instagram. And some Snapchat stuff. Show y'all what it's like to play with the West Texas Pride. I've been looking forward to this game all throughout our practices. We've been practicing so much. And then I've studied up on everything we got. We're supposed to get playbooks tomorrow to talk about it. Because we were supposed to get playbooks about a week and a half ago. Coach had them printed, ready to go. But the shipping company could not get him here on time. So it's what sucked. But... I'm ready to go. I have my college playbook. I'm going to look over that. going to look over the the playbook that he has for us there. We're going to do a walkthrough. I'm going a, I'm to a live stream on my Instagram, like I said. Um, if y'all follow me on my Instagram, it's if y'all don't, it's Nick underscore Yabara underscore. I also have a new Instagram. That's the business Instagram. That's why I plan to do all my football talks, put up updates on these videos and such. This I'm... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit bigger with YouTube and with Instagram, social media platforming and everything because I want this to become something more of a, this is, when I first started the YouTube stuff, it was fun, it was fun, but now I'm trying to become a little more into a businessman, I want to make my money, I want, I'm after this grind, and if professional football can, if this can help me get into a professional way, I'm going to take that route, um, that's why I'm shouting out Under Armour because guys, I've been repping Under Armour since day one of High school, all the way to day one of college, all the way to day one of semi-pro practice, guys. If it wasn't for Under Armour, I don't know where I would be. Under Armour's kept me sauced up. It's kept me ready. Every time I put on a pair of Under Armour cleats, I don't know why. I feel I feel the flip. Nike, yeah, Nike cleats are nice. <laughs> Adidas cleats, okay, yeah, sure. The three-stripe life, who cares? But you, A, y'all stand for the breakthrough. Y'all stand for the underdog, which is what I've always been my whole life. I've never not been the underdog. So thank you, Under Armour, for always finding a way to keep me laced up. And I look forward to balling out tomorrow in either the spotlights or the nitros, whichever one doesn't fuck up on me first, guys. But um, I will be rocking a lot of Under Armour gear. The only thing I won't be rocking, really, is the compression shirt and the jersey. The jersey's team issue and the compression shirt it is from Battle because I could not find a lime green sleeveless shirt. That was compression. But Battle, y'all make some cool stuff too. Y'all hit me up with that too. I mean, battle, guys, this is who I trust with my gear so far. UA, Battle, and that's about it. <laughs> I want to again. My, I, I trust Riddell a hell of a lot um, for head, for shoulder pads and for my helmet. I've been dying to try those new X-Techs out. Everyone keeps telling me, man, go get those X-Techs. Go get those X-Techs, bros. Those things are top of the line and I believe them because when I, I look for a low profile pad I'm not a D line I'm not a fat boy I'm a D lineman yes but I'm not a fat boy I am a skilled D lineman I look for jet and speed that's why I'm always on I like to keep my gear light I like to keep my gear accelerated that's how I look that's how I feel the lighter I am the faster I am the faster I am the more quarterbacks on the fucking ground that's how I deal that's my business I'm that type of D lineman if not guess what the D you're gonna see the quarterback on the ground you're going to see the ball in my hands. I'm going to carry it into the end zone. I'm that D-lineman. I promise that much. I don't. I eat the way people should eat. I eat aggressively. I eat fast. And more importantly, I eat with a purpose. 
because I don't want to starve. I ain't want, I'm the one who don't want to be hungry. All these fools trying to step out here saying they hit a ball for special reasons. Nah, I'm out here because I want to survive. It's a doggy dog world. My mom and my dad taught me that. And I'm here to eat. But to this review, guys, I know, I know, I keep stalling, but this review. All right. Like INF puts, he puts four figures. I'm going to put five. One is style. Two is traction. Three, lockdown. Four, the fit. Guys, you gotta always pay attention to the fit. And five, I'm gonna make this one a little more of it's different because he talks about he talks about the fit, but I'm gonna make it about the whole thing. I'm gonna tell it's gonna be the breakdown. I'm gonna call the breakdown on it, all right? But we'll start off is with the breakdown. All right. As y'all know, these cleats have been out for three years now. Um the 2020 versions I've seen. Um, along with the new Lux Blur MCs, I've looked forward to seeing those because, guys, I had a I have a version of the blurs. Um, they're in my suitcase right now. Actually, I plan to probably warm up in those too, instead of the nitros because I gotta break in those nitros heavy. But point at hand, I look forward to seeing the new 2020. I look forward to trying the new 2020 myself and giving y'all specific reviews on the UA 2020s because UA has met. Nike and Adidas head on with all of their stuff. When Nike came out with the sock liner, UA came out with their sock liner, which I find more compressive, more form fitting. Guys, this cleat right here is something beyond it. When they designed these cleats, they designed them to be movable, flexible. They designed this for second skin movement, which is what Under Armour takes pride in their second skin. That's what they call the compression gear. It's secondary skin, guys. So I've always looked, I've always taken pride in giving Under Armour the props of that. But to the full breakdown, as y'all can see, two types of Under Armour cleats have shown their, of spotlights have shown themselves. Sorry, two types of spotlights have shown themselves. There's the upper weave, which is what I was like, it was like a weave type mesh material that was different. It showed up here and here. Okay. And then there was a suede material. Then the LEs came out. The LEs came out with this synthetic type material i don't know what's called it because it's not tpu it's not leather but it's more it's more protective that's for sure it is way more protective it's comfortable i loved it it's way more compressive in my opinion than the weave was the weave i got stepped on it hurt like a motherfucker this i got stepped on man it hurts though but it didn't hurt as bad all right that's the top down breakthrough y'all got the we y'all got this right here this t um this compressive material that weave Along with these laces, they, the Under Armour laces are beyond anything when it's on the cleats. I don't know why. These laces are indestructible. I have not torn any laces from my Under Armour cleats. And I've run like a motherfucker, guys. I'm fat. I, I may not be a fat boy, but I'm a fat boy still. If y'all know what I mean. Um, they have the loops, like most cleats. They have the lace loops. Uh, They have heel loop right here. On the Under Armour heel counter... It is pretty thick, guys. This is the same type. I could feel it. It feels like the same type of heel counter that was on the previous spotlights, but except it's more encased and less padded than the original spotlight. But it's still there, but it feels more comfortable. And guys, I've had the original spotlights. I've had the first speed form plates. I'm not going to lie. This, feel, this is way more comfortable than both. Why? Can I say that? Because I've been in them. I've ran in them. I have done drills in them. Those cleats lasted me a long time. These cleats last are, are lasting me even longer, guys. They're lasting me even longer. You want to know when I bought these? I bought these in fucking August. Oh, not August. No, I bought these in damn March. I bought these in March, guys. If I bought these in March and... Remember the first ones I had, the black speed forms, the black spotlights I showed y'all? I had those back then. Those I still have. I still use those. I don't use them as often as I like to, but I still use them because they last that long. Depending on how people take care of their cleats. Yes, I rock my cleats hard. I move in them. I actually run routes. I run 40 yard dashes in those cleats. And let me tell you the difference between what some people do and what some people don't. Some people... Their technique is sloppy. Their running technique is sloppy. Their stop technique is sloppy. Their breakdown technique is sloppy. So that's why you see all these tears, gashes, and such. Because their techniques are not in precision. 
I try to keep my cleats in, I try to keep my cleats well balanced so I keep my technique well balanced. I keep myself in precise movements, breakdowns, you name it, my quick stepping, shoot, even my stab foot. My stab foot, I do not take that stab foot all the way down to the ground. I break it slightly and push off of it because that's what if you break that whole stab foot, you will lose either your ankle or your cleat. I've seen people actually pop their ankles completely out of place. And it was nasty, guys, because they were their stab foot was that aggressive. They were going full speed. They stabbed, and I heard a pop. Next thing I know, I saw one of my receivers on the ground. I was like, well, that's what he gets for not breaking down, right? But to the point at hand, guys, um, as y'all know, this is the TPU plate, guys. Battle scars. I've always kept these stickers on here. Um, I have one removed right here from my... I don't remember if it's from the Spotlight or... No, it's not from the, either the Spotlight or the Speed Forms. They are from the Blurs because I remember taking them off the of Blurs. But what it reads is this. If you are competing hard enough and the, the treatment on these cleats would chip, wear them with pride. Battle scars. That's what it means for. Guys, Um, I have worn these enough that I the paint on these are well more lasting than the originals. That um they always work with it, but look, see, there are some chippage. The paint on these are way more lastful. I like them a lot more. I do like that. It, they, this was the year they let out another set of color plates. I mean, they already had the white, they already had the chrome, but you couldn't get a lot of the plates that you see. Like these were probably one of the first ones that you can get from the All America game. I love them. I really do love these cleats because these just feel. Vi it's, I get the vibe, the jungle vibe, like. Guys, it's just me. That's just how I am. But yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell, guys. That's what it's got. Um, number two, what we'll be talking about. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give you all the, the look of it, okay? Number two, the look. Guys, this cleat, it's just... It reads the jungle... Well, I'm the feel of the cleat, especially on the outside, guys. It's amazing. I mean, it has raindrop feel, like a rainforest feel. You got the nice colors. You got the nice green with the pink. This, um, the All America game when these cleats were featured was in Florida, guys, and this feels like Florida. And I understand why, because when I look at these cleats, I'm thinking, man, a nice little rain, a little bit tropical. Yeah, it's Florida. All right, I've been to Florida, guys. That's what it feels like. The pink is a little out there, yes, I know, but it's still fresh, guys. It's the fresh, it's the fresh, and I love it. Um, we're gonna talk about the lockdown, guys. The lockdown number three, lockdown. It's amazing, guys. I have not slipped out of these cleats once. I have not gotten my ankles broken in these cleats. I stay on top of my stuff, and it's amazing, guys. So the lockdown, as long as you lace up correctly, some people. They rock their laces loose. Some people rock them tight. Some people rock them moderate. Me, I like to rock them a little tighter all the way through because guess what, guys? I don't like slipping at all. It's just me. It's how I roll. All right. I'm going to talk about the feel. All right. Number four, the feel. The feel of these cleats is amazing, guys. I've been comfortable. Like I said, the only thing that I change about the cleat is the insole. The 40 foam has been around for so long. It's a pair of... But the reason why I like the Storelli is because the actual grip. And then when you break in the Storelli grips, speed grip insoles, they are feeling comfortable. They are probably one of the best insoles I've ever had. I want to try the Victory insoles because everyone keeps telling me, dude, you get those Victory carbon insoles, you will feel faster. And they will make you faster, especially when you use them a lot. I was like, okay, I'll give them a shot when I can find the time to get them. I haven't had time, guys. I'm always working. I'm always doing stuff. It's That's just my grind. That's what I'm doing. Okay. But like I said, guys, this is a comfortable cleat. Well worth it. Number five, guys. This is probably going to be the most important thing, the traction. Some people think that this is just a speed cleat, guys. It is not just a speed. It's not just a, sorry, not a speed cleat. It's a skill cleat. This cleat is meant to purpose speed players. Players that try, that are accelerating constantly, that want to keep pushing. This cleat is meant for people to stay on their toes. This plate, guys, you got the double blades, 
You got the five mini studs. You got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven front four studs. And then you got the four, the two blades in the back. Keep your heel plate, keep your heel planted completely. And then the two, two regular studs in the front of that, of those two blades. Guys, this traction plate, it means a lot because it's, more, it doesn't just speak to speed players, to receivers, to running backs. It speaks to my inner D lineman, my inner tight end. This allows me to make some cuts and moves that are hard to do because I'm a bigger person. I'm 5'10". I am 230 pounds. Yes, 230 at 5'10". I may look... Do I look at... No. I look a lot. I am very heavy for my size because I work my butt off. I'm pretty sure about 20% of that 200 is fat. I try, I work hard, guys. I still work out daily. I do two and a half gym sessions, three hour gym sessions. It depends. But yes, guys, this is me in a nutshell. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to give you all the full pointed review on this whole thing. Like I said, I have six of these, guys. I have six. I have two colorways that people don't see. This colorway. This colorway was available to the public for a limited time, and I haven't seen it since. And the other colorway, I only see colleges walk it. Only colleges have rocked that colorway, guys. And when I bought it, I was like, I bought it at a steal, too. I was happy. I was like, when I rock these with the matching gloves, I will do a review on both of them. The matching set, guys, because I'm that person. Because I rock that much swag, and I will please my public. But... The cleat, yes, it does have some things I hate about it. The still, there's the chipping. There's a lot of stuff that I want to fix about this. I want to give it more of a D lineman swag to feel a lot more of a D lineman stiff plating. And Under Armour, y'all, this is the second time y'all fixed this plate. The blurs were the first plate. The second was a speed form plate, which carried over into the spotlight plate. And now this is the new spotlight plate. And I have seen. A picture of the 2020 spotlight plates and they're the same as this and the blurs they got the new they got the speed form plate from last the last spotlight so what i look forward to is i'm giving my out my little input under armor hit me up get a lee get somebody like me a d lyman who plays who's played public school who's played college ball who's playing semi-pro let me give y'all some advice on how to do this guys because i can guarantee you i want to help this is what I'm built for. I analyze and I utilize everything I buy, get, and work with. But to give you my honest review, out of the 10-point system, guys, this gets 7.5 points. I'm not going to give it an 8. I'm not going to give it a 9 or a 10 because there are still lacking spots, guys. Like I said, this was built for speed players. This was built for skill players. And that's what they revolved it around, guys. I didn't like it. They need to revolve it around. I mean, from what I've heard also, that the new spotlight are going to come with the mid, which will hopefully introvert into a D lineman skill type like me. Because if it does, then I get to look forward to testing it out, to using it, and to making it even better, guys. But um, that's it for the video. Uh, guys, I'm back. I'm happy. And get ready to look at what's coming tomorrow, all right? Um, again, the Instagram is Nick underscore Yabara underscore. The new Biznagram, yes, I'm calling it Biznagram, not Finstagram, not anything. My new Bizza, Binstagram, <laughs> that's weird, but is football.player50, guys. My new number is 50 for the West Texas Pride. I look forward to doing more reviews. I'll post up that I got a review ready and set for this going out tonight. I will post up a lot more. Just keep your heads on the swivel. Shout out to INF for shouting me out on the 2020 resolution that he has. I know INF is the man. He is the legend. In my book, he started, he was, he's what gave me a chance to want to do this, to pursue it. To pursue doing Under Armour's reviews, doing more football stuff reviews. In fact, I got another review for y'all coming soon. I'm going to do a review on Riddell CPK pads. Because those pads right there that I bought, they're different from a lot of other pads. And I hope that this gets big enough to where I can start doing more of this. I hope I can get something more out of this guy. Because this is not this has become a passion to me. Football has meant a lot to me in the years I've gone through it. 
it saved me, guys. It saved me from doing a lot of stupid stuff, making bad decisions, because I wanted to be a part of a newer, something bigger than just me, bigger than anything else, guys. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Can't wait to show y'all what the field looks like tomorrow, man. What the walkthrough is going to be like. My new family. I'm going to show y'all what the new Zilla Nation family looks like. That's what we call ourselves, guys. I look forward. That's what the defensive calls ourselves. The Zilla Nation. Can't wait to show y'all.